Stop answering the phone like you're just rolling out of bed. Have some energy and show people that you mean business when they call you. Hey everybody, and today I wanna to go into the proper phone etiquette when you're setting up your phone system for your business. Also, some great tips for how you can answer your phone as a regular human being to really stand out from the crowd that's out there. Let's get right into it. Hey everybody, welcome back to the Yard Dogs channel, the place that we share information and tips about how you can grow your home service business and take everything that you do to the next level. Today, I wanna to start by saying I cannot believe how bad some companies are when it comes to answering the phone. We live in a society where you need to answer the phone when someone calls you, in addition to making sure that you have a good way to respond to an online form that they submitted, or have a way that they can text you, or have a way that they can have a channel that doesn't require talking to the phone, but the phone call is not dead. In fact, for a business, it's more alive than ever. Have you been in a situation where you're you know, trying to reach your bank or you're trying to reach customer service on some end of your platform and more than anything, you don't wanna go through all these different press one for this, press two for that. You just wanna to talk to somebody. And I get frustrated sometimes because um, some companies will throw you into all these different IVR menus about, oh, you know, you press five for this. And then, okay, listen to the next 17 options about what you want it. You just wanna to talk to a person. So. It's so important that when people call your business that they have a way to talk to a person as soon as possible. Now, there's a way to do phone calls properly and there is definitely a way to answer phone calls in a wrong way. And today, we're gonna jump right into it. All right, so the very first thing I wanna point out, if you're going to be answering phone calls for your business, it is extremely important that you set a time that people can call you and make sure that the times that you're operating are listed on your Google listing page, on your Facebook page, and it's consistent. If you're open from Monday to Friday from nine to five, it needs to stay the same times on every single platform where people can find that information. Now, if you're open at 9 a.m. on a Monday, you need to be answering your phone at 9 a.m. on a Monday, okay? Your hours of operation are the times that you 100% of the time answer the phone. And if you miss the call because you're on the other line or you just miss it by chance, you need to reach out back to the person within about five minutes before their attention span goes. And remember, if you're in business and you miss a phone call from somebody, the second you don't answer, they go back to their search inquiry and they phone your competitor. So answering your phone is crucial especially during your business hours. So if you say you're open nine to five, you better be answering that phone nine to five. Another thing before you get going is that make sure you decide what your number for your business is going to be going forward. If you use your personal cell phone for the number at your regular number, just know that that number is no longer yours. It belongs to your business. And so long as your business keeps growing, you need to make sure that you're not changing your numbers here and there because some people don't save you in their phone. They just write down your phone number in their calendar or on a post-it note, piece of paper in their house. And when they phone you and down you know, a few years from now, you changed your business number, they're not gonna be able to reach you anymore. And they shoot, what was the name of the company? I don't know, I thought I had this number. So whatever number you stick with, make sure you continue with. Otherwise it gets expensive because when you change your business phone number, you need to pay for porting costs in case they call that first number again, because you wanna make sure that people always have a way to reach you. I learned this the hard way. The first three years in business, we used my personal cell phone. And to this day, I still get personal phone calls saying, Oh, hey, yeah, I'm just looking for some uh, lawn care help. And they'll be calling me at like 2 p.m. on a Sunday, right? <laughs> and it doesn't have a good voice menu that they can uh, that can help them, et cetera. And I'm getting these personal calls all the time. So lesson learned, don't do what I do. If you're going to use your personal cell phone with your number, just know that that is your business number and it's going to stay your business number forever. Even if you add a new number, people are going to continue to remember that number. So pick the number you want in the long term at the very start. And ideally, don't use your personal cell. Get a VoIP um, app or a VoIP system that you can use where you can have your business number. It still goes to your cell phone, but they dialed, instead of the 403-828-1098, they dialed your number, 587-254-2337. And it still goes to your cell phone through the app. There's great um, sources for this. I'll put a few links in the description of different VoIP companies that you can use to look more professional today. Okay, the third tip I have for setting up your phone system and having the proper phone etiquette is to make sure that you have a very professional way to answer the phone. Do you sound like a professional company people wanna work with or do you sound like it's Sunday and you're just rolling out of bed and you haven't even started anything yet today? 
You need to make sure that when they call you, you answer with a bang and leave a great first impression. Thank you for calling Yard Dogs. Good afternoon, my name is James. How can I help you? Thank you for calling Verizon. My name is Greg. I'd love to help you out today. What can I do for you? You need to make sure that you welcome your, you welcome them to call on you, you introduce yourself, and sort of give them the next steps to help make this a very productive call. So acknowledge that their time is important, you're excited, you're happy, no matter what when they call you, and make sure they know that they've called the right place. So some, you know, it's funny, go call some of your competitors right now and you'll be surprised by how many of them answer, hello, oh yeah, what's up, you know? They'll be driving their vehicles and whatnot. You hear um, the car in the background. No, you need to make sure you answer the phone in a very professional way because these days in business, it's, the standards are only going up, my friends. They're not going down. So make sure you answer the phone like a million dollar company if one day you're going to be a million dollar company. My fourth point is that you cannot be answering your phone like this anymore. You're picking it up when you're driving. When you're, you need to be able to write notes. You need to be able to address the person's concerns. So you need a hands-free device. At the office, we're using the whole gear that's hooked up to the system. If you're using the internet, make sure that it's all wired. The second you go wireless, the quality of the sound greatly decreases. But if you're driving, let's say you're a sole proprietor and you're um, running a lawn mowing business, right? Someone calls you and you're driving the phone. You want to be able to answer that phone call, but definitely not like this. One, that's legal. You're going to get a ticket. But two, you can't serve somebody when you're talking to them like this. You need some Apple AirPods, you need some Bluetooth, you need uh, some wired headphones is way better than nothing that connects there with a nice mic on it so that you can have a good professional conversation with someone and take notes as they speak. It, guys, when people phone you, it's that first impression and they're deciding, one, am I going to hire from this company or am I going to just get my quote and move on to the next one? If it's a customer service issue, they want to know that you truly take care of them. And if you're out in you know, the middle of mowing the lawn and someone calls you and you're still running that mower as you're going, that is not customer service. That's you just answering the phone call because it's what you have to do. If for whatever reason you miss a phone call because you were on the other line or you just were busy and couldn't answer the phone, your voicemail needs to be top notch. Don't crack some jokes in your voicemail. Don't have the generic, the Verizon wireless caller you're dialing right now is unavailable. Please try again later or leave a voicemail after that. Don't do any of that. Make sure you introduce who you are, what your company was, apologize for missing their call because it is a big deal that you missed their call during business hours and make sure they know that you're going to reach back to, the, to them promptly. Hi, you've reached James with Yard Dogs. I'm so sorry that I missed your call, but it's extremely important to me. Please leave your name, your number, and a brief message, and I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can within the next five minutes. Make sure they know that you are sorry they missed their call, and you will do what it takes to get back to them ASAP. Remember, if you miss a phone call from somebody, they are right away just going to start calling your competitors, and you don't want that to happen. So get them back on the phone. If somebody calls you when it's not during business hours, ideally you have a different IVR menu that can play as a pre-recording when they do that. For example, on Saturdays, we're open 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. If somebody calls at 7 p.m., it automatically goes to a message that says, thank you for calling Yard Dogs. We're unfortunately closed, but we would love to speak with you. Please leave your name, your number, and a brief message, and we'll be sure to call you very promptly on our next business day. Thank you so much, and once again, thank you for calling Yard Dogs. Make sure that people aren't left hanging, and God forbid, please make sure you say your company name and who you are when they call. And last but not least, please do not trap the people calling your number in all these different ring groups and options of what they can dial to speak to the appropriate person. We just use one menu. Thank you for calling Yard Dogs. For sales, press one. For customer service, please press two. We make it very clear and very quick for people because unfortunately, the attention spans of people these days are quick. We live in a world where you open your phone, you go to Uber, and your taxi's already on the way. You go to skip the dishes, and your food's already on the way. You go to social media, and you instantly see new posts all the time. When they call you, they're expecting things to be instantaneous with this microwave thinking that's going on, and you need to make sure that if they want something, they can get to it very quickly and as seamlessly as possible. Your phone is the front end of your business. It's the way, especially during COVID-19 times, that people can still reach out to you, and they want to speak with the person. We're always being bombarded with these automated messages, 
automatic emails, these robots talking to us, people are craving a good personal touch and phone is still one of the best methods to do that. So start today. If you have a business, make sure you really enhance the way that you answer the phone and delegate your phone calls. If you want to practice even earlier, start with the way you answer the phone on a personal level. Good afternoon, this is James speaking, um, is the way I answer my personal phone call. And yeah, your friends like, oh, you answer the phone like you're working somewhere. Well, yeah, I'm taking my life seriously, man. I wanna have an awesome phone experience for whoever calls me, and it starts with an awesome way to answer the phone. So many people are just, hello, hi. You know, like, no one wants to talk to someone like that. Think of your experience. When you call, um, you know, the local pizza joint to order a pizza, you don't want them to say, what? And they answer the phone. They want, you want the full, Thank you so much for calling Papaloni's Pizza, the where we make the pizzeria, just like from Italy. How can I help you? You know, you want the nice customer service experience, and that's what you're providing with the way you answer your phone. I hope you found this video useful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope that if you're looking to really enhance the way that your customers perceive your business, know that it starts from the way that you answer your phone. Until next time, we'll talk to you soon. That you're updating the way that you answer the phone and the way that you handle your calls. If you're used to your personal cell phone and you even want to start practicing right away. So start today. If you have a business, make sure you really enhance the way that you answer the phone and delegate your phone calls. If you want to practice even earlier, start with the way you answer the phone on a personal level. Good afternoon, this is James speaking, um, is the way I answer my personal phone call. And yeah, your friends are like, oh, you answer the phone like you're working somewhere. Well, yeah, I'm taking my life seriously, man. I want to have an awesome phone experience for whoever calls me, and it starts with an awesome way to answer the phone. So many people are just, hello, hi. You know, like, no one wants to talk to someone like that. Think of your experience. When you call, um, you know, the local pizza joint to order a pizza, you don't want them to say, why? And they answer the phone. They want, you want the full... Thank you so much for calling Papaloni's Pizza, the where we make the pizzeria, just like from Italy. How can I help you? You know, you want the nice customer service experience, and that's what you're providing with the way you answer your phone. I hope, hope this. I hope you found this video useful. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I hope that if you're looking to really enhance the way that your customers perceive your business, know that it starts from the way that you answer your phone. Until next time, we'll talk to you soon.